with uh, Benvenuti, and I'll be presenting today on lead generation in the age of AI. One moment. Okay. Hello and welcome to the Argyle AI Leadership Summit. My name is Vicki Lembronska with Argyle. It's great to have everyone joining us today. Just a, just a couple of notes before I turn things over to our esteemed speaker for the session. First, a quick reminder to stop by our sponsors' virtual booths at any time during today's event and for the following week. Our partners are committed to content and a great overall experience today. And any time during the event, you can visit their virtual booths from the main agenda page. To ask questions through the session, which is very important, simply type into the Q&A chat and we will address your questions at the end of the session. And now, without further delay, I'd like to introduce our speaker, Nikki Zavola Benvenuti, best-selling author of the best digital marketing book, Taking Your Marketing to the Next Level 2024 edition. We are so excited to have Nikki with us for a keynote presentation titled Lead Generation in the Era of AI. Welcome, Nikki, and over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vicki Lynn. So uh, today's talk, as uh, Vicki Lynn said, is going to be lead generation in the age of AI, transforming opportunities with artificial intelligence uh, for this year and in 2025. But before we get into it, um, next slide. I wanted to present, um, you know, sort of a question here. You know, most people um, perceive AI lead generation as syn synonymous with total automation. Um, and an endless stream of leads. And, you know, um, who here thinks that, um, you know? And so, um, and I think that a lot of times people fear that AI bots might eventually replace salespeople and marketers in their respective fields. Next slide. This is a common misconception about AI and its potential to completely replace human jobs, including those in sales and marketing, but not limited to it. And while it's true that some tasks may become automated with the use of AI technology, it's more likely that humans and AI will work together in a complementary manner. So this is actually a quote from a Carnegie Mellon University professor I spoke with recently. And he said that, you know, AI will not likely replace salespeople and great marketers, but great salespeople and marketers who use AI will replace salespeople and marketers who don't. AI is meant to think of right now for 2024 and 2025 is handling the repetitive and mundane tasks, freeing up humans to focus on higher level thinking and creativity as it pertains to sales and lead gen. Next slide. Um, so now that we're all confident that AI won't be replacing our jobs in sales or digital marketing anytime soon, let's shift our focus uh, to lead generation. So for today's discussion, we're going to define lead generation as the process of identifying and nurturing potential customers um, for a business's products or services, and that's whether they're on, uh, online or offline. Now, traditional lead generation methods are going to include manual processes like cold calling, emailing, advertising, and AI has the potential to revolutionize all those processes. So today I'm going to present the capabilities and limitations of AI and lead generation currently. And I'm also going to offer what I hope are valuable insights for you on how businesses can effectively leverage AI technology uh, for lead gen. Um, as uh, Vicki Len said, um, you know, I'm the founder and CEO of AK Solutions and the author of a digital marketing book. Um, I've also collaborated with over 100 companies, including renowned B2B brands um, and B2C brands like Neutrogena and Avino. And um, yeah, I've worked with them extensively to um, enhance their lead and sales generation strategies. Um, so today we're going to talk not only about the importance of AI in the total business landscape, but, in, but we're also going to talk about the current capabilities, case studies, limitations, and how to overcome them, and where AI and lead gen is going. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, so among the various ways that AI can transform lead generation, the top three for 2025 are going to be data analysis and segmentation, personalization, and predictive lead scoring. And we'll go into all of these in more detail here. Uh, next slide, please. So um, this image is going to be from a software called Lead Squared. So as I said, one of the primary capabilities of AI is for data analysis and segmentation. 
So as you know, one of the advantages to AI is its ability to quickly and accurately analyze large amounts of data. This is going to be especially useful in lead generation where businesses are dealing with a large pool of potential customers. So for the purposes of lead generation, tools like um, Lead Squared you have AI-based technology that can quickly and accurately comb through databases um, and data from various sources, such as website visits, social media interactions, and customer demographics. And through these, through this analysis, software like um, Lead Square can identify patterns and behaviors that indicate interest in a product or service. So with this information, AI can then segment the leads into different categories for more targeted marketing efforts. So how does this work in practice? Well, for instance, a behavior um, could be a customer frequently visiting a certain product page on a company's website. This indicates, well, this customer is highly interested in making a purchase of that specific product. Or another behavior could be if a potential customer is engaging with their social media posts about a different or, or about a specific product. It doesn't have to be different. So in 2025, with advancements in AI technology, we can see data analysis and segmentation um, to become even more sophisticated. Businesses are going to have access to more data and more sophisticated AI algorithms that can process it at a faster rate, which is going to lead to precise segmentation um, for lead generation. And I should also mention, um, you know, Lead Square doesn't just do um, segmentation. Um, it also does things that I'll talk about a little bit later, such as lead nurturing, automated workflows, and lead scoring. Uh, next slide. Um, but data and analysis and segmentation, you know, really don't do that much on their own. Um, they naturally pave the way in marketing for the next step, which is personalization. And personalization has been a buzzword in marketing for some time, but AI is actually turning it into a reality. Um, after sifting through vast amounts of data, AI is going to grasp the differences between preferences and behaviors of individual leads. And then you can create personalized, tailored messaging that's going to resonate. So once the lists are segmented, and this can be on the basis of numerous criteria, and it can include um, you know, demographics, behaviors, interests, um, you name it. This is going to enable the creation of highly personalized and targeted campaigns that are more likely to convert. So continuing with the two examples from the previous slide, if AI detects that a customer is frequently visiting a product page on a company's website, with, those, with that data segmented list, it can then retarget um, you know, those customers by sending retargeting ads related to that product in their direction. Similarly, if AI notes that a potential customer was engaging with social media posts about a specific product, it could prompt a direct message on the social media platform itself, complete with a discount code for that product. And so with this insight, AI can effectively segment leads into different categories for more focused marketing efforts. So this right here is Conversica. Um, this is a screenshot of that software. Um, and this is a responsible for direct messaging and personalized campaigns. Uh, next slide. Um, moreover, a remarkable capability of AI with personalization is going to be its ability um, to analyze behavioral patterns and preferences and craft those personalized messages that resonate deeply with individuals' needs. Um, so this is going to, over time, boost your conversion chances and also enhance the overall customer experience. Looking ahead to 2025 and even beyond, we're going to anticipate an even greater level of personalization um, with advancements in AI technology, businesses are going to have the ability to create highly tailored experiences for each lead based on their unique characteristics and their interactions with the brand. So as this goes on, you know, the algorithms just keep getting smarter. And this is going to improve not only lead generation, but also improve greater satisfaction and loyalty amongst your existing customers. Uh, next slide. So the third way in which I mentioned that um, AI can be used most effectively for lead generation in 2025 was predictive lead scoring. No one enjoys wasting time and effort, and this is where predictive lead scoring um, comes into play. So lead scoring involves assigning a value to potential leads based on their likelihood of conversion. 
And so by assigning data from past customer interactions and behaviors with existing customer interactions and behaviors, AI can accurately forecast which of these potential customers or leads are most likely to convert to paying customers. And so this capability allows customers to concentrate their efforts and resources on high value leads, thereby increasing their success. With advancements in AI technology, we can expect predictive lead scoring to become even more precise and efficient over time, which will save businesses time and resources by enabling them to prioritize the most promising leads. And as AI continues to evolve and learn, again, it's going to uncover patterns and trends and data that may have eluded human analysis. And this can include subtle correlations between certain demographics and conversion rates. Um, so as a result, um, businesses can tailor their campaigns accordingly and target specific audiences with a higher potential for conversion, which will lead to higher um, lead conversions over time. And a notable um, example of software that implements this approach is Magneto. I'm on a screenshot of that is shown here. Uh, next slide. Um, so there, the best uh, tools that we've used um, for AI uh, lead generation um, include, um, so basically include data and analysis segmentation um, tools such as Lead Squared, predictive lead scoring um, with software like Marketo and Insight Squared, and then um, marketing automation software um, like Marketo um, and um, HubSpot. Right now, key benefits include personalized recommendations and real-time assistance, improved response times and customer satisfaction for your clients or customers, efficient handling of multiple conversations, advanced natural language processing for more human-like interactions, and higher lead conversion rates, of course, um, and through this more tailored engagement. So next slide, please. So you might be wondering, all this sounds really good in theory, but does it actually work in practice? Well, I have two compelling case studies for you. Um, so the good news is that Amazon serves as a compelling case study for leveraging AI for lead generation. Amazon's application of AI deploys machine learning algorithms for data analysis, segmentation, personalization, predictive lead scoring, and more, which leads to an impressive increase of 800 million in sales and an additional 20 billion in advertising revenue. So um, that's an additional 1% sales for Amazon directly attributable to AI at this point, and an additional 25% in advertising revenue just by deploying AI. How did they do this? So Amazon successfully harnessed AI in three key areas. So personalization, enhanced search, and more relevant advertising. So by utilizing AI, They've identified the customers most likely to make a purchase and they've targeted them with personalized marketing. Sound familiar? <laughs> and this ultimately boosted conversions and revenue. This approach um, also helped Amazon attract new customers and also enhance the shopping experience for existing customers, which fostered greater customer loyalty. In terms of search functionality, Amazon has outperformed its competitors by effectively applying AI. In total, they have over 800 engineers at Amazon exclusively devoted to AI efforts such as these. And so one of the things that they've been able to develop in-house is natural language processing to understand customer search intent, and then to conduct statistical analyses to determine search relevance based on those search terms and phrases for search terms um, and phrase, yes, and then interpret the context of the queries based on web activity. So as a result, 42% of Amazon search users click through to a product, whereas just 12 to 13% of users who um, you know, on Walmart, Best Buy, or Etsy ever make a, ever even make a search. That means that people on Am who go to Amazon are three times more likely to even make a search um, and, and, and much less a sale. And finally, Amazon maximizes its revenue um, through advertisers using AI to match ads with the right customers. So advertisers then are incentivized to increase their ad spend, which creates a win-win scenario for advertisers as well as um, for um, the um, as, as well as for the end user. Excuse me. And since 2020, AI's propelled um, the ad revenue from 60 billion to 80 billion. So um, next slide. 
Um, another customer, another, excuse me, another company that's had success in increasing revenue and lead generation with AI is Netflix. So Netflix has been at the forefront of using uh, AI with data analysis and localization and personalization services um, since the beginning almost. <laughs> um, you know, and with its data analysis, Netflix collects massive amounts of data from its users, including viewing habits, ratings, and preferences. And by analyzing that data, they gain insights into what type of content is resonating um, with that particular um, audience persona or demographic. And one of the most significant ways that this actually works is with their localization tools. So with its global presence, Netflix actually needed a way to cater to different languages and cultural nuances in their contact, content. And they developed AI power translation tools that can not only um, accurately translate subtitles and dubbing, which makes a seamless viewing experience for their international audience, but it also helps them make more informed decisions um, when it comes to showing new show previews or um, and marketing them to the right uh, potential subscribers. Um, furthermore, Netflix has also used AI to personalize its recommendations for users. Um, by analyzing user data, such as viewing history and ratings, Netflix can suggest content tailored to the individual's preferences. And the marketing algorithms um, also increase user engagement and effectiveness of the marketing campaigns. And it's clear that this actually works. Um, Q3 revenue for 2024 for Netflix, I just released us a week ago from today, um, 9.83 billion, up 15% uh, from the previous year. So with the integration of AI, we can expect to see more innovative and personalized content being produced by streaming services like Netflix. And it also opens up possibilities for new types of content that were previously impossible or too time consuming to create. So this creates um, interactive storytelling experiences, virtual reality content, and more. Uh, next slide. Um, so despite the impressive capabilities, AI still has some limitations when it comes to lead generation. Um, and we're going to go through the big five here. Um, so first is the dependence on quality data. So right now for AI to be effective in lead generation, it needs access to high quality data. If the data itself is ineffective or insufficient, the predictions made by AI may not be accurate. And so that's why it's important to continuously clean and update your data um, to ensure the best results from AI generation. Another limitation is the lack of human touch. So right now, while AI can analyze large amounts of data in a short period of time and send numerous amount of messages in a very rapid time, it lacks the human touch that's often crucial for building relationships with potential clients or customers. And people are more likely to respond positively um, if the um, communication is personalized with a human touch um, rather than simply being entirely AI automated, at least at this point. Bias in um, data and algorithms. So AI systems are right now only as unbiased as the data that they're trained on. So if there's bias present in the data or the algorithms, it leads to biased recommendations or decisions. And this can be problematic whenever it comes to lead generation as biased predictions can result in missed opportunities or entirely reaching the wrong audience. Another issue is the inability to handle complex situations. So AI is great at handling large amounts of data and making predictions on the, based on patterns, but it can struggle with complex situations that require human judgment. For instance, a lead's decision-making process may involve emotional factors that AI right now is unable to analyze. And lastly, constantly evolving technology. As technology continues to evolve, AI systems also need to constantly adapt and improve in order to remain effective. That means the businesses relying heavily right now on AI for lead generation must also be prepared to invest time and resources into updating and training their systems. So next slide, please. Unfortunately, there are numerous ways to overcome the limitations with AI technology in 2025. Um, the big five, again, have listed here. So the first is to continuously monitor and update data. So to avoid the issue of inaccurate predictions due to outdated or biased data, well, it's important to continuously monitor and update your data. And that means regularly checking for any biases in your data and removing them, as well as adding new data regularly to improve the accuracy, accuracy of your AI-generated predictions. Combining AI with human touch. 
So instead of relying solely on AI for lead generation, businesses can combine its capabilities with human judgment, creativity, and personalization. So this means having a team on, you know, marketing team review and refine the leads that are generated by AI um, before actually reaching out to the potential customers. Um, incorporate ethical considerations. So thirdly, you know, companies have to uh, consider ethical implications in their decision making processes. This involves being aware of bias in their data and ensuring that their systems are programmed with ethical considerations in mind. You want to continuously train and improve your AI systems. Um, so as mentioned earlier, you know, AI is still growing and improving. And so, you know, to keep up with every advancement, businesses have to be willing to invest time and resources into training and updating and monitoring their AI systems. And this can involve hiring experts or partnering with outside organizations who specialize in AI development. And lastly, using AIs for specific tasks. So instead of relying on AI for all of your lead generation efforts, businesses can use it for specific tasks where it excels, such as data analysis, pattern recognition. And this allows employees to focus on the more um, you know, complex uh, tasks that require you know, human judgment, creativity, a connection, and so forth. Um, so next, um, next slide. Um, so as the technology continues to advance, the potential for AI and lead generation is only going to increase. In the future, we can expect to see more advanced and sophisticated AI algorithms being used for lead generation, which will provide businesses with even more accurate predictions and insights. As AI also learns to um, learn from data and adapt its algorithms accordingly, it'll also become better at identifying qualified leads and sending the right personalized message that sounds like it has more of a human touch and converting these potential leads into um, paying customers itself. Furthermore, um, with the rise of voice assistants and smart speakers, um, we're going to also see AI being integrated into those devices for lead generation purposes. And this is going to open up new channels for businesses to reach potential customers and to gather even more potential data. So overall, the um, future looks bright for AI and lead generation. And companies that embrace this technology early on are likely to gain a competitive advantage in their respective industries. Uh, next slide. So in conclusion, the key strategies um, for 2025 and beyond um, are going to be right now, the, the things that AI is absolutely the best at are data analysis and segmentation, personalization, and predictive lead scoring. Um, to navigate these risks without you know, hiring like you know, 800 engineers like Amazon does, businesses need to continuously monitor their data, combine AI um, with the human touch, train their AI systems regularly, and use AI for very specific tasks. Staying updated on emerging AI technologies and encouraging um, you know, um, their um, employees to explore new AI tools uh, can also further enhance your lead generation efforts. Um, so, um, you know, AI holds, um, you know, immense potential to transform digital marketing lead generation and, um, you know, and I'm staying and um, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so thank you for your time, and I invite you to consider using AI for lead generation. Um, and I am a little bit early here, about uh, two and a half minutes, but if anyone has any questions, um, I would be happy to take them now. And this is my contact information. Thank you so much, Nikki. Yep, thank, thank you, you for that presentation. And we do have some questions from the audience. Great. Our first question that came in is, in your experience, what have you seen as the main challenges businesses encounter when implementing AI for lead generation and any tips for addressing them? And you did mention some of them, of course. Um, I think that, you know, if I was bo going to boil down the five issues that I had into two very practical situations, I think the first is that, um, marketers just being human or prone just like anyone else to set it and forget it so what we want to do is you know we're so used to you know just signing up for facebook and you know <laughs> having that work that we want it to be that way with ai and it's not right now um right now ai tools um even the great ones that i mentioned here like hubspot lead squared marketo they're only going to be as good as the data that you're willing to put into it and how will how devoted you are um you know, having team members you know for at least 10 hours a week 
often more for larger companies, you know, go in and actually, um, you know, monitor the quality of the leads that you're getting, how accurate the segmentation is. Are the personalized messages being generated, not only converting, um, but also, you know, do they even sound like um, they resonate with your brand? And so, you know, right now, um, Continuously monitoring training your AI systems, I would say, is the biggest challenge that businesses encounter because it's not a set it and forget it. And I don't imagine that we will have that until at least 2028, 20, 2030, um, you know, in, in any larger sense. Um, I see another question. Um, does AI replace traditional all lead gen tools or is this just another option? Um, and that's a great question. So whenever we consider um, as an all service marketing agency, what lead gen tools to utilize. The 1st thing that we do is we consider how are customers reaching you offline. So, if customers, for instance, if your number 1 source of getting clients offline is trade shows, um, presentations, et cetera, then I recommend that, you know, companies, um, you know, hold virtual conferences. And, you know, some of that can be deployed with AI. You can, you know, create AI generated ads and things like that. But a lot of that process still needs to be done manually. On the other hand, you know, if, um, you know, you generally get customers from print advertisements, um, you know, TV advertisements and the like, switching to virtual ads and targeted landing pages can be a good source of leads for you. At this point, Yes, there are AI software uh, tools out there that can generate web pages and ads for you, but they do require a large amount right now of uh, monitoring the language and you know even tweaking the design to make sure that it resonates with your brand. But utilizing these tools for like the um, the data analysis from who's engaging with your ads and who's getting through to your landing page and signing up to become a, you know, a, a lead or making a purchase. Um, you're know, using the tools more to analyze um, the data um, you know, or to automatically send messages to people as they sign up on the landing page. Thinking of AI right now more for like the simplified repetitive tasks that are a part of sales and marketing um, is important. So to summarize, I would say that the first most important part is um, Whatever you're doing offline that's working for your sales and marketing team, there's always a way to replicate that online. And then secondly, AI right now cannot replace all lead gen tools, but it can be used for really um, you know, highly parsed data segmentation, personalization, and lead scoring. Um, another question was, what can we do to ensure that our business can best leverage AI for lead generation success? Um, I think that that's a really great question uh, without knowing the, if the person wants to provide their business industry vertical, um, you know, um, B to B, B to C and you know, B, you know, and like, you know, um, the size of the company. Um, you know, I, I think that without, you know, just speaking very broadly, I would say that, um, you know, there, there are certain benchmarks. So. You know, if your um, conversion rate on your website for B2B isn't at least 1%, um, a one out of 100 unique visitors isn't opting in to become a lead, you have a problem. If, you know, at least 4% of your customers, um, you know, B2B aren't coming to your site and making a purchase, um, there's a problem. And yes, you know, this is different, you know, for different industries, but this is just, you know, industry averages and benchmarks. Um, if you reach out to me, um, my information's there, I'd be happy to, um, you know, answer the question or even like give you a free complimentary audit and, and tell you what's, um, you know, like if I, where I think you could leverage um, AI. But I would start by looking at those metrics and seeing, um, you know, how well you're performing before I would recommend any specific tools. Uh, question four, it seems as AI is replacing um, the need for large teams, it seems as to enable one person to do most of the lead generation work. Um, oh my gosh, this is such a complex question. I would say that um, for, it depends on a lot of factors. <laughs> um, if you're running one campaign with, um, you know, ads and landing pages and you're having um, data segmentation and analysis, personalized messages going there and, um, you know, like the, the, the lead scoring, I would say that that would be enough for one person. 
but many of my clients um, are larger companies and, you know, and they're going to have multiple campaigns going on at one time. So if you have new products or services as one campaign, um, you know, um, promotions as another campaign, um, you know, new customer buy-in as a third campaign, this can become very complex very quickly. And then it becomes more something for more than one person to handle. Um, you know, um, sometimes, you know, agencies can handle multiple campaigns at the same time. Um, marketing department they can um okay so um i have been told not to answer any uh, i have been told we're out of time so um thank you so much for all of your time and questions um my contact information um i, I think you can ask argyle for it and then it was also just on the previous slide thank you so much for your time Thank you so much, Nikki. What a wonderful presentation. Thanks for answering all those questions. And I want to thank everyone for joining us for this session. This session, along with all of today's content, will be available on demand following the event. And our next session will begin at 1.50 p.m. Eastern Time. And that will be a thought leadership titled Innovate with AI Use Cases and Design Your Enterprise AI Strategy. Please click on the Join button that will appear on your screen to be directed to that session. And we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you again, Nikki. Thank you.